Hey guys, welcome to my channel Electronics Pedia. In this video, I am going to explain about APB write transfers. In my previous video, I have explained about the basics of APB protocol and APB, what is APB topology and all of the you know, APB protocol signal descriptions. If you haven't watched my, that video, please go and watch that video. I have given the link in the my description box. So let's get started with the APB transfers. So first signal, uh, the, uh, how the uh, I'll explain about the uh, you know uh, how does the my write transfer looks like along with the help of my uh, waveforms. So this is my P clock. So here we have two types of transfers. The first one is the uh, write transfer with uh, without the weight state, okay, and then we have the uh, write transfer with the weight state. So I'll explain both of those you know, scenarios. So then uh, this is my uh, P address. So I'll just draw this is something like that. Here my P address that's uh, 0 x 500. So that gets asserted. Okay. And then I have the signal P select which, uh, which tells me which is uh, which of my uh, which particular slave is selected. So this gets asserted over here, the P cell, and then I have a signal write P write. So since my uh, this is my write transfer, so my P write will be asserted over here. Okay, so this is asserted, and then I have a write data P W data. So I am trying to write uh, data of uh, this is my zero hex. 0a 0b so i'm just trying to write some data into my this particular address location so this is my signal so now what happens after my p cell has been asserted the next clock cycle over here right my p enable gets asserted so this is my setup phase and here my access phase begins so now uh, my slave when it is ready right to accept the data that time it's assert a signal called p ready okay now so assume i gave my p cell here p enable here and then if my slave is uh, not ready yet so and but in the, this clock cycle it asserted my p ready okay here then what happens is uh, that means here my uh, you know slave is ready and this is my re, uh, okay so this is a right uh, response right so this is a right transfer so this is my p ready is asserted what happens is as soon as my master this is my all of these are the signals which are driven by my masters and this is a slave so this is driven this particular signal is driven by the slave so now what happens here my uh, you know uh, ready is asserted then immediately next clock cycle right what the protocol says is my p write right so this signal the p enable okay uh, and my p select and address it depends if you, if you want if the my next transaction is uh, something different then it can bring this low or it can keep to continue if it's the same address okay so all of these signals they should be deasserted so that means as soon as my ready is seen the next clock cycle my p select p write p uh, enable and my p uh, data write so all of this has to be brought down so that means after this right so my p ready can come low so basically what happened here in this window of or this particular clock cycle right so whatever the data that was present over here right so that is in this particular clock cycle right so that data will be written into the offset 500 so that means 
when p select is high p enable is high and my p ready is high then only that means that particular transaction is a valid transaction and that data during that window right like all of these signals are high the data that is present in this particular window so that will be you know written into this address so that means you cannot really change this data but the data which is present in this particular window so that will be written into this particular address now um, I was explaining about two concepts right like uh, write transfers with a you know wait stage and write transfer with a no wait stage so here in this case it's a write transfer with uh, no uh, it's a no wait state or just it's just one clock cycle wait state, uh, wait cycle so what happens is here it's a no 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 it's a basically a no wait cycle so because as soon as my p enable is there next clock cycle my p ready is coming so assume you have a slave which is you know always ready to you know uh, you know uh, take the data so either it's for a write operation or it for a, or it may be for a read operation then it can continue it can choose to assert this p ready okay always so that means if the slave is ready so it can choose to assert this p ready always okay so in that case what happens as soon as my p enable is high over here right so in this window right so then what happens my p ready is also high so that means my transaction ends here itself okay because my p ready is high p enable is high p select is high and also p write is high so that means here my transaction is accepted so that means it's a valid transaction so then in this win this clock cycle my p select p enable all of these signals should go low so that means here there is no wait uh, wait uh, cycles so that means the transaction immediately ends so now there could be a scenario where um, I can put it like this there could be a scenario where um, if my select uh, if if the my master is trying to write the data okay so this is my p cell which is asserted p write and this is my data 0 a 0 b okay so this is my uh, p enable here it's asserted in this clock cycle so now uh, my period assume this my period is always a one okay so this is always a one so my p enable it it was uh, it got asserted here since my period is asserted so it has to come down in this clock cycle here itself so what about my p cell if my master is trying to access the same slave it can choose to you know um, keep this my p cell asserted always but however my p enable and uh, this my uh, uh, p enable yes, yeah p enable and the this address right so that can this can vary because uh, it may not be the same register but it's in the same range of that particular allocated uh, uh, address range of per, of that particular slave so this is my 0x500 this is my 0x uh, you know uh, 504 so the next register it is trying to access so in that case so this also can change but uh, my p cell can be continue to be one so in, and p write also since it's the right address it can also be asserted here only the change what happens is my write data it can keep on changing along with my address because you are trying to write a different location and uh, it can be a uh, different data value also but and the, the same protocol should continue now here the p cell is already asserted in this clock cycle again the p, p enable should be asserted and then since my ready is asserted continue, continue to be asserted and it has to come down so from what do we understand from this here is if you look at if you understand this protocol here my p cell is asserted here and my p enable is deasserted so that means for apb transactions to take place right so you, so you need a minimum of two p clocks this is the minimum requirement for a apb transaction to happen that means with two clock cycles you can you know uh, do a apb write transfer so this is about the write transfer with a uh, without a uh, wait state now let me explain about the write transfer with the wait state so with the wait state what happens is 
So my P enable is asserted over here, right? So now if the slave is not ready to take the data, so it is to it uh, it uh, it is driving zero and it can continue to drive zero as long as uh, you know I, I mean until it is um, you know ready to take the data right so here assume till here it is uh, zero my uh, p and p ready is zero that means the slave is not ready so but my as per the protocol my p select p enable p read all of them should be you know continue to drive the uh, previous values okay so here so now in the next clock cycle right here my the clock cycle here my ready came in the next clock cycle it can come down okay so that means from if you see here to here there is a wait so my p ready is getting you know uh, delayed uh, it's basically we are you know making the master way, uh, to wait because the slave is not ready to take accept the data so this is about the uh, app write transfer with the wait state so i hope this uh, concept is uh, you know uh, uh, pretty you know simple and uh, but what you what you should understand from here is the when the p select is uh, you know asserted the next clock cycle the p enable should come and the data is the transaction is accepted or it's a valid transaction only when my p select here right this window p select my p write and then the p enable all of these the signals are high only then the transaction is a valid transaction so this is all about the app write transfer so in my next video i'll explain about what is app write uh, sorry retransfer and along with the you know waveforms thank you